Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do a worksheet on shapes and patterns in class 1. I have dealt with the topic of lines, plane shapes and patterns using lines and shapes in separate videos. Links to all those videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us begin this worksheet with fill in the blanks first. A sleeping line is also called a dashed line. What is the answer? A sleeping line is also called a horizontal line. Next question. Horizontal, vertical and slanting lines together are called dashed lines. What is the answer? Straight lines. Next, a vertical line is also called a standing line. A sleeping line is called a horizontal line and a vertical line is called a standing line. Next, alphabet E has dash horizontal lines and dash vertical line. So, observe the letter E and you can see that it has Three horizontal lines and one vertical line. Let us move on to the next set of questions. Alphabets M and T are examples of alphabets with only dashed lines. Straight lines is the answer. In alphabet M and T, you can see that it is made up of only Straight lines. What are straight lines? A standing line, sleeping line and a slanting line together are called as straight lines. You observe alphabet M and T and you see that it is made up of only straight lines. Alphabets S and U are examples of alphabets with only dashed lines. What is the answer? Curved lines. If you observe alphabet S and U, you see that there are no straight lines in them. They just are made up of curved lines. So, curved lines is the answer. This type of line shown in the figure is called a dashed line. It is called as a zigzag line. Alphabets B and R are examples of alphabets with both dashed lines and dashed lines. Observe the alphabets B and R. You can see that they are made up of both curved lines and also straight lines. Dear viewers, these are all the different ways in which you can frame questions to test the understanding of the children on the concept of lines, shapes and patterns. We have covered fill in the blanks so far. Next, we are going to do match the following. Here, I have given on the left side few shapes or objects that resemble few shapes. On the right side, I have given the names of the plane shapes. Now, what we'll have to do? We'll have to match these objects to the shape which they resemble. The first object is an egg. An egg resembles the shape of a oval. The next image is, is a clock. The clock resembles a circle. The next image we have is a carom board. The carom board resembles the shape of a square. What are we doing here? We are drawing matching lines from the object to the shape to which they resemble. The next shape is a rectangle. I have shown a calculator over here and it resembles the shape of a rectangle. The last one is a sandwich which resembles the shape of a triangle. Hope you found this activity interesting. The next activity that we are going to see is a coloring activity, after which we have choose the correct answer and complete the patterns. So stay with me till the end of this video. We see the picture of a house made up of different shapes. Now read the instructions carefully and do the coloring accordingly. First, Identify the square 
and color it in yellow color. Where is square? Here the square is present and you'll have to color it with yellow color. Next instruction is circle should be colored in blue. Identify the shape circle and color it with blue. Here it is. Next, oval should be colored in red. The door of the house is in oval shape. So make it in red color. The next instruction is rectangle is to be colored in orange color. Yes, this is a rectangle and we have colored it in orange color. Identify the triangle and color it with green. This is a triangle and we have colored it with green. We have a beautiful colorful house here. This activity is very interesting and a very important activity for the children because it helps to identify the shapes, choose the correct color according to the instructions and color the shapes accordingly. Next, the activity that we are going to do is choose the correct answer. A plain shape with four equal sides is a rectangle, a square, oval or a circle. Which is the correct answer? A plain shape with four equal sides. The correct answer is a square. A square has four equal sides. Opposite sides are equal in length in a triangle, square, rectangle or a circle. Which is the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is a rectangle. Opposite sides are equal in length in a rectangle. The next question that we have is a plain shape with three sides and three corners. Which is the correct answer? A square, triangle, rectangle, a circle. A plain shape with three sides and three corners is a triangle. A plain shape made up of a curved line. Which is the correct answer? A square, triangle, rectangle or a circle. Circle is the correct answer. The remaining three are made up of straight lines. A plain shape made up of a curved line is a circle. A plain shape that resembles an egg. We know the answer. Is it oval, triangle, rectangle or a circle? Yes, the correct answer is a oval. Hope you found this activity interesting and useful. Let us move on to the next activity. Complete the patterns. We have a U, an inverted U, a U and an inverted U. What will be the next pattern? Yes, it will be a U followed by an inverted U, followed by a U and then inverted U. Let us see the next example for a pattern. We have a square, a purple circle and a green triangle. So we have a square, a purple circle and a green triangle. Next again we have a square, a dash and a triangle. What will you get it in between? We will get a purple circle. Next it is a square. What will be the next figure? A purple circle followed by a green triangle. Hope you understood how we are doing our patterns. 5, 10, dash, 20, dash, 30. Fill in the blanks and complete the pattern. You will get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Here we are skip counting by 5 and doing a pattern with numbers. Dear viewers, in this video I have shown you some ways of framing the questions and testing the learning outcome of the children with respect to shapes and patterns. You could frame many more such questions and test the children of their understanding. These are all the other learning outcome in class 1 under the topic shapes and patterns for the children of which I have covered the first topic lines, the second topic shapes and the third topic patterns in three separate videos. Links to those three videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. In this video, we covered shapes and patterns worksheet. With this, we are completing the topic of shapes and patterns for class 1. 
Next, we will be moving on to the topic of time. Dear viewers, in my channel, I have covered number concepts, addition and subtraction for class 1. Links to the playlist containing number concepts, addition and subtraction videos are also given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the topic of time. If you like the concept of my video, do give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.